Welcome back to Commerce with Kimberlina. We'll be doing the next episode of Midnight Poppy Land. Episode 53, we have five more left. And then it will be time for season two. I am so excited. I'm going to mention season two in, in the rest of the videos. All right. Let's continue. All right, so they're at the nightclub. I mean, they didn't get into the nightclub yet, but they just... They're getting there. Holy fudge biscuits. Loud music. That's my kind of part. I like music loud. <laughs> okay, let's see it. You want to see what it looks like? Well, it's a big statue. I think it's a statue. <laughs> what is that thing? The fallen angel. Pardon me. The fall. I'm sorry. Can't I can't hear you. Could you speak a little louder? Pool. <laughs> I'll talk to her later. The music's too loud. <laughs> it's Big Bro Tora. Yo, make way. This is incredible. Oh, they're holding hands again. The music's so loud I can hardly hear myself think. Whoa, that place is big. Tora, and it feels like... Hey man, where have you been? I'm engulfed in this sea of lights, people, and deep trance music. Here, that's gonna be all of us later when season two comes out. We're gonna party. <laughs> oh, look at Jacob. He's looking snazzy. Everything always looks good. <laughs> They're here. Everything, Jacob. I'm G Pops. I was just about to look for you outside. Look, Quincy reserved this lounge area for just for us. I know, I feel like a VIP already. Hey, Jacob, looking good. Oh, you're finally here. I'm gonna go take some, take pictures of this place to show Meg's. I hope we get to see Meg one day. Is Megan still studying for her test? But she could join us. Oh, it's fine. She'd hate it here. The energy's way too chaotic for her. I'm surprised you're actually enjoying yourself, Pops. But of course, I'm a party animal. <laughs> Watch your step. Dude, the ground's super uneven. Good thing Quincy told me to wear sneakers. I almost tripped on... A few times on my way here. Wait, sneakers? He told you that? But Quincy told me to wear the highest heels I could find. I had no idea this was going to be a cave or I, I'd never wear these. <laughs> Weird, but more importantly... Evening, fellas. What can I get for you guys? Let me see what you having, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a... Hey, Pinky. Secure the rest of the area. The, yeah, the area in here. Got it, big bro. Just me. All of you. Got it. And, um... Name's Damien. I've been following you since... I've been following you since 8th grade. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, me too. 
<laughs> like how he just throws that in there. <laughs> and my favorite, I hurt your feelings. <laughs> Dora, he's just trying to tell you about himself. <laughs> no, sir. Good, then get to work. Got it. <laughs> Hey boys, Big Bro wants us to secure the area in here as well. Get to work. <laughs> More importantly, was that Tor who escorted you here? Um, yeah, I ran into him at the entrance. I still can't believe he's the guy that went around town looking for Mr. Lom for you. When are you going to tell me more about him? Sorry, Dean. I'll tell you everything as soon as I get this mess in my head sorted out. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding, Pops. After what Drooly did to you, even I would check out the dating pool for a good while. You don't say. I'm still locating self-esteem piece 24 and tw oh, 26 and 47. I have a feeling they'll show up under my bed someday. Oh, at least you can laugh about it now, hey? <laughs> it's not like I'll stay single forever. It's just that I think I'm finally finding myself again. After years of feeling trapped and suffocated and lost, this sense of emotional freedom is so liberating, you know? And I want to take some time to enjoy being my own and focus on me. Oh, I understand, sweetie. I know I can be pushy and stuff, but... You know, I'll back off as soon as you say the word, right? Of course I do. So just tell me about it when you're ready and take all the space you need. But I gotta say, Pops. I didn't realize how hot he is without that stupid baseball hat. Don't be hating on the hat. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with me. Look at him. Because <laughs> they're not making it obvious that they're staring. <laughs> He's the type that everyone stares at wherever he goes and I'm the creeper that lurks in the corner starking at people like him oh that's his staring <laughs> stare <laughs> is this your self esteem speaking no this is my eyes speaking how may we assist you today <laughs> You're so funny today, Pops. Excuse you, I'm funny on most days. Although, he did swoop me off the ground and escort me into the club. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be our party princess tonight. Where is that party dress you showed me? Please tell me you have it under that coat. I do! But let's just leave out this detail for now. unknown to Poppy. He is also staring. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a Christmas present from Mirabelle and Danae and my granny. I thought I'd never get to wear it. For real, though? You chicken out. I thought you chicken out. I think he's back. Oh, 
Oh, he's staring now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you need a glass for that drool, big bro. <laughs> oh, he called him out. What do you want now? Isn't that young Master Quincy's editor, the chick you escorted in here? straight or not, I guess we can all appreciate a nice uh... <laughs> Watch it. Yo, big bro. Yeah, mostly sub Oh, we've scanned the area. No one to worry about in here. Yeah, mostly civilians and all of our boys. <laughs> He's rubbing his head. Hey man, when's Giyu coming? When he's done with his shift. And he's just staring. Alright guys, that is it for episode 53. Um, I'm going to try to do one more before I do get ready for work. And then I'll just have to do the rest when I get home from work. Hopefully it'll be before season two starts. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.